Kia ora, noa ea, welcome to the Pacific Way. The Secretariat of the Pacific Community is an international organization that provides technical and policy advice, training and research assistance to Pacific Island member states. Its work covers a range of sectors. The documentary we're about to show you highlights the work of the SPC's Economic Development Division, or EDD. Established in 2010, EDD's role is to spearhead coordination efforts in sustainable economic development through accessible, affordable, efficient, secure and safe service in the energy and transportation sectors. Our world is an ever-changing landscape. Over the years, enormous strides in infrastructure and new technology have afforded us many opportunities that simply didn't exist before. But for all the convenience of today's society, it is not without its own set of pressing challenges. The Secretariat of the Pacific Community works to assist Pacific Island countries and territories to respond effectively to some of these challenges and equip them to make informed decisions about their future. In January 2010, SBC established the Economic Development Division, EDD, based in Suva, Fiji. EDD's role is to spearhead coordination efforts in sustainable economic development through accessible, affordable, efficient, secure and safe services in energy and transport. Both energy and transport are uh, essential, vital for the region in terms of uh, just supporting communities but also for economic development and those two um, are interrelated. Uh, you obviously rely on affordable uh, energy sources for transport and transport is essential for the development of the islands and the, and the region as a whole. So when we talk about economic development, I see energy and transport as the vital ingredients and that is why SBC uh, has uh, promoted the uh, establishment of these two sectors. EDD's objectives outline the need to establish and sustain effective regional coordination mechanisms and strategic partnerships, support development and implementation of effective policies, plans and regulatory frameworks, strengthen institutions and expertise, and improve access to affordable and efficient energy and transport services. Steering these efforts are the frameworks for action and implementation plans for energy security and transport services. So the frameworks uh, for energy security in the Pacific and the framework for uh, transport security in the Pacific were developed when the division was set up in 2010 to give a framework not only for the work that we do in the division but also work for other donors and other players within these two sectors within the region. Fossil fuels, oil, coal and natural gas provide the bulk of the world's commercial energy supply. In the Pacific, they account for approximately 95% of the energy needed to power vital infrastructure, transport services and overall progress. But fossil fuels are limited resources, and our heavy reliance on them is great cause for concern. To date, an estimated 30% of the Pacific's 10 million people have access to electricity derived mostly from fossil fuels. With oil prices reaching record heights in recent times, this supply comes at a high cost. We are spending more and more of our foreign exchange on the importing oil. In a lot of uh, countries, uh, more than 50% of their exports um, goes to uh, the uh, imports of oil. 
And when one look at uh, the total imports, uh, in some countries it's about 20-25% of the total imports is on uh, fossil fuel. Now, um, uh, given that uh, heavy uh, reliance, any change in the uh, global price of oil to have uh, um, uh, effect. The energy program works to improve energy security in the region. Their work encompasses accessibility, affordability, efficiency and environmental quality. Right now uh, we have a team um, uh, that is based from uh, the SPC office in Ponape and they are implementing the, um, the North Rep. It's the renewable energy and energy efficiency project for the northern um, countries, uh, FSM, Palau and the Marshall Islands. And uh, more than um, 10,000 people in those three countries will have access to electricity for the first time. Harnessing renewable energy potential is only part of the solution to achieving energy security. At least for the near future, the Pacific will continue to spend millions on fossil fuels just to meet daily demands. We are working with countries on the, um, negotiating their uh, fuel prices. Um, in reviewing their fuel pricing practices and policies and uh, we have gained a lot in that area. At the same time we are uh, also assisting uh, countries with um, their energy roadmaps. Energy security cannot be addressed in isolation. The transport sector consumes around 75% of oil imported into the Pacific region. Over 90% of trade is facilitated by maritime transport. And aviation transport contributes 261 million US dollars to gross domestic product and supports close to 30,000 jobs in the regional workforce. Transport is the economic enabler for everything we do, uh, whether it be education, health, uh, particularly with trade. And, and given uh, the, the Pacific Islands region is so dispersed amongst uh, the ocean here, is that um, the only thing that can happen is through transport. It, it, we can't move, we can't trade, uh, and everything we do is reliant on transport, including um, you know, it, our, our sustenance of fishing or whatever it may be. So, uh, transport in the Pacific Islands region is, is, is very, very important, uh, particularly when it comes to maritime transport. EDD's transport program is the only regional agency dealing with maritime matters in the region. It plays a leading role in ensuring Pacific Island countries and territories comply with international and regional transport safety and security standards in both the maritime and aviation sectors, while also focusing on national priorities, including the development of policies and regulatory frameworks. Because we can't get away from the fact that we're a part of the global community, then we have to uh, meet global expectations. So uh, most of our island nations are a part of or, or have subscribed to different uh, international uh, conventions. So we therefore stand back and, and say, well, how can we help you to meet those obligations? So we're working uh, in, in that area of compliance, uh, compliance auditing, not to see where things are working or not working, but in, in a way of, of identifying areas of, of improvement so that each island nation can work on those areas to, to in increase their trade, uh, to uh, increase productivity, to cut cost, and to make uh, 
transport, particularly maritime transport, affordable, safe, reliable and uh, sustainable. The transport program is also at the helm of improving the sector's energy and service efficiency. Current efforts are being geared towards providing advice on new technology available, improving human resource capacity building through training and mentoring programs, and exploring better regional shipping service opportunities. In a nutshell, we're, we're SPC, the Economic Development Division around transport is, is here to sort of uh, help to help the countries around us to be compliant um, as best possible in all areas of their obligations. That should then result in people having what they need without missing out in, in a Pacific context. It should result in safe shipping and, and safe air, air tra travel. It should re result in, in, in reliable um, services so that you know they're going to be there and you don't have to wait, you know, sort of that extra month for the, your goods to arrive. And, and it should result in, in an increase in trade and activities within the region because that's what it's all about. Interdependence is a practice way of life for those that call the Pacific home. And just as this vast, rich ocean unites its inhabitants, so too should our resolve in navigating the best way forward for both national and regional development. Welcome back to the Pacific Way. Throughout the years, the Pacific Way has been fortunate enough to capture some of the unique, colorful, and entertaining aspects of our diverse Pacific cultures. And tonight, we showcase talent from the North Pacific region. Chamorros have traditionally occupied the Marianas Archipelago, of which Guam is the southernmost and largest island. Enjoy this performance from the Guam contingent at the 11th Festival of Pacific Arts in Solomon Islands.
We hope you've enjoyed the show. Now, to find out more about tonight's stories or about the Pacific Way, check us out on YouTube and on Facebook. Now, the 5th Melanesian Festival of Arts and Culture is just over two months away, and in anticipation, we leave you now with a Fijian meke performed at the 3rd Melanesian Festival of Pacific Arts and Culture. Until next time, salut, au revoir. Ibu ni mana lah? Ayah.